Hello, hello, hello. It is Dolly. Welcome to my channel, Scrapping on the Go. This process video is for old to new with Kathy and myself. The concept behind this collaboration is an is to encourage you and ourselves to get out those older scrapbooking magazines that we physically have or digitally saved and select a layout that we would like to bring back to new or as I say, back to life. I have selected this one that you see in front of you from page 65 of the spring of 2015 magazine from Scrapbook Cards and Today. The next thing I'm going to show you right now is the products that I gathered. So let's just start off with my stamps because I have them right in front of me. And hopefully I am in frame. I'm sitting down. Let's see. We'll put these like that. Okay. And you might get a little bit of glare because of the packaging. Um, in the layout that I chose, there's the title, Love You. And you'll see in a minute my photograph. But I'm thinking about using this stamp right here from close to my heart called Hey There, Hi, Hello. It is D2140 and it's called Sending Good Vibes. It was still available. We are having a stamp sale over at Close to My Heart. Yes, I am a Close to My Heart consultant maker. If you do not have a consultant, I would love for you to come on over and browse through Close to My Heart. And of course, if you see something that you like, I would love it if you would purchase through me and I will have the link listed below. So that is my idea of possibly using this stamp here. And this one I grabbed for my flower motif that you see in the lower right hand corner of the layout. And hopefully I've shrunk shrunk it now and put it up in the upper left hand corner. So that's why I chose this one here. And then this one I chose to maybe have a little icon in the lower right hand corner. And I was thinking possibly the hedgehog right here. Um, or maybe this one holding the daisy. Who knows? I'm not really sure. Or it could be even this koala bear up in the right-hand corner. And this was a stamp of the month. Oh, and it's the stamp of the month for the month of March. And it is S2305. And you can pick this up for only $5 by purchasing $50 or more, or you could pay the full price. You'll need to come on over and shop over at Close to My Heart. And yes, I'm kind of doing this backwards because you have no idea what I am planning on, the memory that I plan on um, documenting. So I have selected my tri-blends from Spectrum Norm, and I have pink violet blend and I have bright pink blend and I have light green blend and you're seeing the darker colors and then we have the medium is in the middle and then that is the light color. So I can do some great blending once I stamp. I selected from my scrappy stash the word salad by Bella Boulevard. And that's because I have a variety of colors here. So we have the orange, blue, and pink. And again, pink, green, and that mint color. And then we also have this gray, red, and another tone of blue, like a navy blue. And then we have pink again, and a light mint, and an orange. And as you can see, it goes on and on. So those are some word phrases I can add to my layout. We have some chipboard here, miscellaneous sticker sheets from a Vicki Booten collection. And it is the color study collection. So those are some stickers. 
Then I have some chipboard pieces, not very many left from the color study collection. And I have this scrap paper that was in a circle. And I have my close to my heart dolly thin cut. Well, they're called fancy dolies CC5226. And these were still available just the other day. So we have this very large one and a small one. And they can fit in the middle like that. And if you've been a follower of my channel, you know I am always adding some splatters to the background of my layout. And I will use one color, two colors, or three colors. Normally three is my max. So we have some medium gloss spray in Sky, Carnation, and Fuchsia. And see, they get a lot of love and a lot of use. They are a mess, but they still work for splattering. Now I'm going to bring over my Close to My Heart Versa Mat, which just helps me keep myself in frame so I am not aggravating you guys too much by being out of frame. I have a 12 by 12 paper from the Vicki Booten print shop collection. I have a scrap paper from a Vicki Booten collection, not sure which one. I'm going to bring the photo back. I have this cut apart tag from Vicki Booten, this beautiful bright flower from Vicki Booten. I cut out this banner using a Vicki Booten thin cut and I have this die here from a cut apart from Vicki Booten. And this is not from Vicki Booten. Um, it's just in my set. This is going to serve as an additional mat for a photograph of my sister-in-law with her daughter's um, very large dog. I don't even know what breed it is. It, it's, we think it has some lab in it. It's a large dog and we are playing cards and it looks like we are playing rummy at this time. And, um, gosh, it slipped my mind. The name of my niece's, um, dog, it will come back to me. So I want to document this because he just came up on my sister-in-law's lap, like, what you doing? Hi, I'm here. Hello. Hey, pay attention to me kind of thing. And so now you know why I chose this one stamp right here. And I'm either going to stamp on the layout or I'm going to stamp on a cardstock and cut it out and place it on the layout. So what are we going to do? So let's do this. I am not going to film the entire process, but I am going to do little clips where I am just coming back live instead of doing a complete voiceover. So I think I'm going to go ahead and mat this photograph as my second layer and then cut it. I think I want some of that pattern paper peeking out. If you are a follower, normally my matte layers are very thin, but my paper layering behind my photograph will be a lot. But as you can tell for this layout, it's my paper layering behind my photograph is gonna be nothing but the dolly. I think I'm gonna have my photograph over here a little bit to the left. So now kind of getting the idea of um, old to new. It has a tag and I think I'm gonna do this over here. And this flower piece here, even though that flower looks nothing like the one that I'm going to stamp out and that's a okay. What you want to pay attention to is that visual 
triangle, and that visual triangle can be in threes, odds, and it can even be in twos. You can have it just going straight across, bring, bringing your eye straight down vertically or horizontal. And I want to stamp out my flowers around here and color them. So that is my stopping point for you. And my check-in will be this dolly die cut it out using this paper piece. My stamping will be down here and it will be filled in with using my tri-blends. And I will go over that portion of my process. So I will be right back. Okay, I'm back with my check-in. You can see I stamped here. I colored using my tri-blends and I stuck with just the bright pink and used the three colors. And then on the green, the light green, I used the light green, the medium and dark for that. Oh, and remember then, I had this tab and I thought about right here but again, it's really making this whole area heavy. I'd rather just have some splatters maybe. I need to tie this in because it's very heavy. So I think kind of like that. I don't want that centered and maybe I want it. I don't know, maybe I do want it over here a little bit. All right, let's see what we got here. Stickers, stickers. So I've got that black. All things, maybe all the things right there, maybe tying in that black. Um, okay, we got a sticker of a butterfly right here. Let's see if we can get that off. Because maybe this is love this life. I want to kind of get these stickers used up. So we like that. Look at this. This has, oh, it says make today all awesome. I kind of like that. Look at this. This has got the color. It says hello friend, hello friend. I think we should put that down in here. Now let's see if we can find a word phrase that's going to tie all this together. It says this life, hello my friend. You're so lovable. Look at this one right here. Perfect. All right, let me secure all this down and come right back. And oh, it's a little bit better, right? Okay. And then I put foam dots underneath my wings here. And then I remembered I hadn't used any of these chipboard pieces and I wanted to get some of these used as use well. Use this arrow. I'm either pointing to my flowers we could put the camera right there like that, don't you? I have to find me some ribbon and I don't really have it on my desk right at the moment. So when we come back, you're going to see that I've added the ribbon and my splatter. Okay, my layout's complete. I went ahead and used all three colors of the medium gloss spray from Dana Wakely. So we used the carnation. We use the heather and we use little bits of the fuchsia. I used the thistle exclusive water-based dye ink from close to my heart and my applicator sponge. And I picked three spots where I came in a little bit heavier just to draw your eye this way. So you see, I went heavy right here, here, and here, and then I out or inked the entire edge just to keep your eye in because I do have a lot going on. You can see that I created some very wonky lines right here for my journaling. I did that on purpose to just add some more visual interest and to this there. layout. All right, this layout's complete. Thanks for stopping by. Be sure to go check out Kathy's channel. The link is listed below in the description box. Give a thumbs up, hit that notification button so you're notified every time I am 
uploading a video to provide you inspiration to document those memories in a fun, creative way. And we will see you next time. Bye.